What up? My name is Red. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. Today, I'm putting this Majin Vegeta here just for like a placeholder. Just imagine he's the new Majin Vegeta. Um, or, for all we know, he's getting a Zenkai. I highly doubt it right after we just got a Zenkai. But you know what? Would it really shock me? No. So, potentially new Majin Vegeta. More than likely, uh, legendary finish one. Nothing is confirmed. Keep that in mind. This is all conjecture. This is all saying, well, what if this happens? You know, um, so new Majin Vegeta potentially. What do I want to see from him? One, we're gonna go down here. I want to wipe this off. Uh, where's it at? Fifty percent of damage of C, thirty percent damage. Of What's the one I'm thinking of? Character Goku. That's fine. It's understandable. Not that big a deal. Every time this character is the battlefield, yeah. Thirty percent damage received to all other allies. What a terrible debuff. Nothing like that. I do not want to ever see that again. Because it makes units that are, okay, they're not great, but they're good enough, terrible. It makes them terrible. I just, I'm not feeling it. Um, that that needs to just, that kind of thing, I don't want to see that again. It's cool we get 50% damage inflicted, but at no, if he's going to be a detriment to my team, like he's going to make all my other units take more damage, then he damn well better be the best unit in the entire game if he's going to make everybody else on my team bad. And let's just say, this man is not the best unit in the entire game. He doesn't have horrendous stats at 14 stars. Let's say he got him at 7. He doesn't have horrendous stats at 14 stars. 7 stars even. It's not terrible. It's doable. Fine. Say you got Z7 Goku to buff out Red Saiyans. You could make it work. I don't know why you would, but you could. If you're really feeling it, fine. It, terrible. That really... That made him the second he dropped. That just made him a straight up detriment. Now, key recovery of 15 counts of facing Goku. That's good, but he also needs some damage inflicted. He was kind of mad at Goku. I don't know if you guys remember Dragon Ball. He was a little peeved. You know, he wasn't exactly a happy camper about Goku. Like, no, he was, he was kind of mad. So, that's definitely something you could do as well. Um, martial arts uniform, none of that stuff matters. Ghost, metal, silver, none of that stuff matters. Not going to hell alone. Final explosion, fine. Final atonement is probably what he'll have if he is an LF. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. What do I want to see ideally from a legendary finish with him? Obviously, you pop yourself, you blow up, you do whatever else, that's great. You have a good time, right? Um, I want to see... I want to have him. He. I, I want him to have endurance, or something happens after, right? I want to see a nice cinematic cutscene, not just let me pop myself real quick and you're not dead. He doesn't kill with final, with final explosion. It doesn't. It hardly kills enemies now. It's nothing. We need something similar to 16, where it blows up with that and then heavily benefits another unit, a Trunks unit, a, a Goku unit. Doesn't matter, right? Um, if you use it against a Boo unit, it should do additional damage. I'm 100% down for that. Now, when we, if you watch the podcast at all, which I highly recommend you do check it out. Last one went up on Talon's channel. We alternate. I think next week is Truths. I'm not 100% sure. Goes up Saturday. We live stream for like three to four to five hours. Normally four is the cap. Talking about Doken for about two hours and then Legends for about two hours. If you want to check it out, 6, uh, 6 p.m. EST. Oh, 6 p.m. MST, 9 p.m. EST. So check it out. More than welcome to. Um, I think it was Nasirachi said if he blows himself up and then he comes back as Angel Vegeta, 100% down. That's dope. Or if he's just transforming. He's just a normal Super Saiyan Vegeta. You pop your main ability. He goes Super Saiyan 2 and Majin. He holds his forehead. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so angry. If you got a Goku unit on the team, he gets 30% more damage inflicted. That sounds good to me. I'd be down. And then his second main ability would be his final atonement. If there's a Trunks unit or his green card could speed it up like the other one, it doesn't matter. That's what I want to see from his main ability. I do want to see... Um, it's hard to explain. Because I'm just kind of doing all this stuff based on like describing it to you. I don't want it to suck. <laughs> like, Final Explosion looks really cool. It's already relatively cinematic. 
But I want to see like that Doken esque, you know, where it's just basically the anime, where you see him looking up, or you see him holding trunks, or whatever else, and then he just like pops trunks in the neck, goes over, blows himself up. Something happens after that. Something dope. He says goodbye to Kakarot. He says goodbye to Bulma. This is for you, Bulma Trunks. And yes, even you, Kakarot. I want to see that really bad. I don't mind the idea of a debuffer, just not damage received. You want to take off 10% of my key recovery? Fine, if you really got to do that, if he's that good, fine. Nothing like this, though. I don't want to see that. Color. The worst part is red fits the absolute best. That's where I'm, I don't know. I highly doubt. I would almost 100 million percent guarantee they're not going to Zen guy this guy because we just got DKP. I would almost 100 million percent guarantee that. It'd almost be better though. Because if we just get another red Majin Vegeta, this guy's dead in the water. He's gone. You will never see him again. You will never use him again. Not even on the bench. Doesn't matter. He's just dead in your box. And that's not something they want. Because that leaves no opening to Zenkai this guy in the future. Unless we're just going to go back and forth with Red Majin and Vegeta's. I don't know. For me, I thought, you know, at first I was like, yellow sounds like a great color. But then I was like, Rage Trunks is way too good. Way too good on Vegeta family. He's a staple. He has been since the second he dropped. Like, he's way too good on Vegeta family to change it out and put this guy or... Just to get rid of him flat in general. And you don't want to run a yellow, yellow, blue. Because there's not a good enough blue. So I do think blue fits the absolute peak. I don't think purple. I can't imagine purple. We just got... Well, Scatter Vegeta doesn't count. But you know what I mean. We just got a purple Vegeta with Scatter Vegeta. Getting his Zen guy. We just got Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. Who is, again, in my opinion, a staple on that Vegeta family. I love that guy. I don't think he'll be green. As much as green's not a bad idea for him, it's not terrible. It's, we don't need another one. Uh, we just got 16. But I don't think he'll be green. This is all speculating a legendary finish Vegeta, by the way, in case you're wondering. Because uh, we already have a green legendary finish Vegeta. Blue fits all too well. I do think that... Or red. I mean, red does fit really nicely. But again, this guy's just dead in the water then. So, Ideally... Blue is probably the best. Transform Vegeta is really, really good still. But I don't want to have... That's good that he's good. Because people who don't get this Vegeta then aren't just left high and dry. You get, you could say Transform Vegeta is not that good. You're not wrong. He's probably like high A tier. But he does enough damage that if you play around it well enough, you're fine. His super still restores his HP. He still... Obviously transformation use, so he has very good. He doesn't have a limited transformation. Nothing. Very, very good blue unit. You do have the Future Trunks, the Zenkai Legends Road one. Not a bad option, I suppose, for Vegeta Family, but it's mainly based around, like, that's going to be like Legends Road or Future, not so much Vegeta Family. So, yeah, I mean, ideally, I do want to see Red, but with him already being Red, and that closes the door on him getting a Zenkai, or it makes it awkward in, like, a year, you know? Because then it just kills off one of your legendary finish units, and nobody's going to want to chase the tickets to buy him in the shop. If you have a Zenkai Maja Vegeta, the red one, or people are just going to get pissed off, blue. Blue fits perfectly in a lot of different ways. What do you guys think? What do you want to see from the new Maja Vegeta potentially coming out? Nothing is confirmed. Absolutely nothing. People are reading into a whole lot of stuff. Does it make sense? Absolutely it does. It's perfect timing, too. We just, we, we're just right in the middle of the Boo Saga with Gohan and Boo Tanks. Well, Gohan is from Super, but you know what I mean. Ultimate Gohan, Boo Tanks, Deborah. Majin Vegeta. With him, I want to see some kind of EX related to Bobbity and Bibbity. I don't expect it, but I would love it. And I agree with you. I want to see a very... I don't know who the heck said it. I want to see a very tanky green Saiyan. Very tanky. Something that can just outlast. Gets mass amounts of heals. Like a Boo-type Saiyan unit. I don't really care if it's Goku. That would be really nice. That would benefit the LF Gohan that's coming out and this Vegeta as well. Um, that's what I want to see that goes with him. Some kind of pairing. A Super Saiyan 2 Goku. You know, just like the yellow one was whenever they first came out and he's kind of doo-doo. And I want to see that kind of unit, but just stupid. Good cover, good everything. 
I don't know if we'll see that. We might. It is a Goku unit. We get quite a few Gokus if you didn't notice, but it's another green Goku. I don't know about that. That I don't know about. Either way. Oh, Z ability. I'll cover it really quick. Vegeta family and uh, Majin Buu arc, since we didn't get it with Deborah. Vegeta family, Majin Buu arc. You can do strike attack and defense, blast attack and defense, or both attacks. Both, both defense was actually pretty nice. I actually like that. Or give me something weird like HP and critical. I don't even care. I'm down for that too. Something that's not massively impactful, you know? Or just give me like HP for Majin Buu team. <sighs> that's probably the less wanted to start the team with because you can't really rock the team. And then with a secondary, uh, what's it called? Secondary powerful opponent. I wouldn't mind that. You know, powerful opponent, really, I want to see a lot of units with powerful opponent. Because it's never going to be a full blown team, but it's definitely an underlying team. And it's a cool idea to have your main team, and then you have a secondary amount of buffs that are going to a couple of them or all of them. It just kind of adds a little bit of extra. Just like how Zenkai's have all their own stats they're giving themselves, adds a little extra, you know? That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see with the new Majin Vegeta. What do you want to see? Let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe if you do enjoy. Keep an eye out for summons. I will be doing those more than likely tonight. Um, nothing crazy. You know, I don't really ever jump in too, too much. I'm, people say I'm a dolphin. <laughs> I don't know how the hell a dolphin sounds, so I was going to make a sound, but I don't know. I'm out. Thank you so much. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a dislike if you hate these discussion videos. That's fine, too. It's understandable. I'm out. Thank you so much. Deuces. Oh, I gotta click stop recording.